Hey everyone, welcome to the Triggered Precision Machine Channel. Today we continue the breakdown series with episode number eight. We've switched it up for the last few videos and we're going to continue that trend with this one and break down a very typical and simple home defense shotgun. The shotgun, in general, has got to be one of the most useful and multi-purpose firearms in existence. From home defense to hunting, military applications, and sporting events, there's shotguns out there in different forms that are just simply getting the job done. I started out personally in competition shooting using a shotgun, so it's something that holds a special place in my soul. For this video, we're going to take a look at the well-aged Remington 870 chambered in 12 gauge. The 870 has been a staple for law enforcement and sportsmen since the 1950s and continues to serve well. This specific model you're looking at is actually an 870 police model, which is available for civilian purchase and includes the 18 and a half inch barrel and the factory scattergun technology ghost ring sights. So let's get started and break this thing down starting at the muzzle end. And up here at the muzzle end, you can get a closer look at the front side post. It's factory installed, drift adjustable for windage, and it just gives you a simple post with a white bead for aiming. Below the side, I have a two round extension tube that I added and that gives me seven rounds of two and three quarter inch or three inch shotgun shells on board. So Remington has a bunch of different models of these floating around and some of these models do come with this extension tube factory installed. Up here you also see the Magpul barrel clamp which not only serves as a forward sling attachment point but it also supports the magazine tube extension. As we move to the rear from the muzzle end, I've added a Streamlight TL Racker fore end. The fore end has an integrated 1000 lumen light with a pressure pad here on the left hand side for momentary or constant on applications. It's bright, simple to use, and not obnoxiously expensive. There's some other great mounting options out there for lights, but this one just integrates so well for this shotgun it's hard to look past. As we get back to the action, I have a Mesa Tactical six round side saddle. This one happens to be filled up with six rounds of Federal Tactical Flight Control double out buck, two and three quarter inch. So there's hundreds and hundreds of options out there as far as shotgun shell selection goes. I've done a significant amount of testing with these and I believe that these are the best choice for my personal application. So your application may vary. If you haven't shot the Federal Buckshot with the flight control wad, I would highly recommend checking it out and seeing what it does on paper through your shotgun. It's pretty impressive. So while we're here talking about the action, I'll point out there's another Magpul sling attachment point right there. That just gives me different options as far as sling mounting goes. I do have a Blue Force gear sling with HK clips for this shotgun, but right now it's being used on a different platform. Everything in the action and fire control group is original as it came from Remington. Finishing this up is the Magpul buttstock you see there. This gives you another QD cup as another sling attachment point, and in my opinion, much better ergonomics compared to the factory black synthetic stock that came with this shotgun. And this view will also give you a little bit better look at what the rear scattergun technology's ghost ring sight looks like. So that about wraps it up, short and sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like what you see, please hit that like or subscribe button. Thanks again, I'll see you guys next time.